Oi. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Where is it? Music. All the way up. God damn it, master. All the way up. And it's gone. Slightly. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, focus, focus. Let's turn the master down again. It didn't give me the boost I wanted. We're here with my crew. All two of them. Only two that matter in this frame. The only two crewmates that matter. And we're gonna do some more ground breaker stuff because there's way too much to do here anyways. Oh, I didn't discover them before. Rooks be oh, dislike. That just, it lagged so badly it switched me to German. That's odd. Never had that happened before. Rizzo's purple berry punch. You want a punch? We've got your punch right here. Uh, it's very purple here. Rest and go. I wasn't there before, right? Yeah, that's the Gladys list. Okay. The famous moon man. Here he is. Martin Callahan. No. Yeah. Yeah, I need a close up. Easy does. <laughs> Without hard on. Without hard on. Where's my hard settings? There. Yeah. Come on, show show me your pretty face, Martin Colin. Oh yeah. One more time. Oh yeah. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay, okay. Hot comes back on. Oh, just messing around at the start. Okay. I'm sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. I didn't remember his voice being so cool. You work for Spacer's Choice? Ever been to Edgewater? Heard of it. My orientation Aetherwave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. He's the best man for the job with that voice down. It's not bad, it's not so bad. Just struggling, but they have got good hearts, like Pavadi here. That's true. Yeah. I hope they're gonna be okay. That's a spacious choice, Spear. Take what you have, polish it up, and make the best of it. So, what can I get you? Some soap? Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. No, don't use it. I like to bathe in my own sweat and tears. I've got to ask you about the hat, man. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our Consumer Care Headwear Division. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, speak up, I can't hear you. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice! Ah. Uh. Chase the freedom! Freedom! You're doing all right in there, man? Oh, I'm having a stellar day. And not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. Uh, can you see in there? I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the spacer's choice catalog, which is available here at a reasonable price. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. How do you brush your teeth, man? Spacer's choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time, but we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat wash, mouth wash, and manta floss are among the exciting line of dental goods currently in development. And a diet toothbrush or diet toothbrush? No, it's the other thing. Sun pasta. <laughs> Do you miss eating solid food? Don't miss out on these deals. You'll find none like them on all a groundbreaker. Or anywhere in the Halcyon colony. Damn, it's so good as it 
at his job. You have to sleep with data. Trouble sleeping? Try our lunar eclipse mix. That's two handfuls of pep pills washed down with a hearty swig of two-hour energy brew. Mm. The blast will send you through the stratosphere and the crash will knock you out gold guaranteed. That sounds deadly. A mission with my pre-workout does Space's choice make you wear that? Add an additional 10% to your purchase today and the proceeds will be donated to Spacer Cares, our premier corporate welfare program. Uh -huh. At Spacer's Choice, we care about your health and emotional well-being. That's why we put Martin through six years of vendor school only uh. to make him wear this hat. Six years? Damn, that's a lot. Do need me to help you get out of there. Even if my contract didn't forbid it, I think, uh, I think it's part of me now. Mm. Now, are you ready to make Spacer's Choice Lunar Green Moon Mouth Lozenges a part of you? Lunar Green, the future is Spearmint. Yeah, six years and I can be as good as this guy with the slogans and all. Do I get a deeper voice too if I take six years of whatever school? I'm addressing the man beneath the mask. Ah, you okay? I, uh, you know, damn it. No slogan for that one. Uh, look, this hat, my job, it may not seem like much to a brave space captain, but they're all that I have. If there are self-made purgatories, then we all have to live in them. Mine can be no worse than someone else's. Now, yeah. if we're done with the chit-chat, I hope you don't mind if I make the most of this short life and try to be the best moon person I can be. Self-made purgatories, I can relate to that. Sorry I pushed you too hard, Martin. It's fine. I should be stronger than this. Thanks for taking an interest. Uh, speaking of interest... Can I interest you in some quality budget goods? At Spacer's Choice, we cut corners so you don't have to. I uh, cut head off, Smart. What do you sell here? Anything and everything. Whatever you want, we got it. And when you need a replacement, we got that too. I would want a replacement for Felix right now. Uh, have a look. I need a Felix replacement. He's not cutting it. Oh, there's the heads. Lie, lie, lie. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. Was he lying to me all the time? No, nah, can't be. Seems like an honest man. 25% discount. Oh, Bolter Pistol. Hammer, hammer. Bolter. God damn it, I sold my good Bolter Pistol. Oh, bye. Rebuy, what is it? 196 there. Yeah. Hmm, not the good one. 137, what's that? A heavy machine gun. I got the old reliable. Burp. So, junk. Oh, uh, we're good to go. Thanks, Martin. Appreciate you. Seriously. Keep it up, you're doing God's work. Nope. Don't come back here. And it's too late. <laughs> he came back here. I hesitated. They're stealing. I see it in their I'm eyes. Going anywhere, you hear? I'm going anywhere. Ah, Ellie's cool, actually. I don't mind Ellie. CNP pancake mix. Now requires no mixing. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, Ali, talk to me. You can't keep me out of there. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? Nah, girl. See him, Furu? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. What's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. 
Vai ver que louco não me chasse. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Oh, that's all. Good luck getting to Jesse. And better luck if you do. We'll Can I just work. go through here? Huh. That's a guard. He just turned around. Stick to the area. Turn around again, man. Turn around again. Some Incoming! That's bad. That's bad. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Okay. Oh god, that's not how I just should have gone. Uh maybe I come there another day. Another day. Uh but it shows mm, I shouldn't get myself in trouble anymore. What oh I don't know if this helps me with anything. I need sleep though. Go back to Byzantium, you gold plated bastards. Yeah, no one. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. You'd think the board and its agents would be more content sitting at the top of the system's food chain as they are. Ah, oh, you can touch everything you want, Pavadi. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Alex is dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Ah, Alex isn't important. I'm here to turn in Phineas Wells. What? Phineas Wells is what? That man smells. It really smells in here. Maybe we should open the door. Ah, before we go down the business, I need to be sure I can trust you. All right, I suppose. How might I assuage your fears? Money. Why do you work for the board? Whom else would I work for? Those sublight thugs? That Tennyson woman? The sweaty masses in the groundside townships? The board is the only force for order in this rough and tumble colony of ours. Without them, we'd all starve to death or meet our end in a canid's jaws. Oh, do you draw working for them? That's a curious question. I can't say I've ever considered how my personal satisfaction factors into the work I do. Permit me to answer your question in another way. In Byzantium, I was one among many. I often felt uh, lost in the hurry and expanse of the capital. Here, I have a measure of power and suffer little oversight. It makes for a different kind of loneliness, but it's one I've found I can endure. That still doesn't tell me why she trust you, man. I understand. And I would ask the same of you, but I suspect... Well, I suspect I'd find your answers less than satisfactory, wouldn't I? Oh, I want what's best for the colony. That's why I want to turn Phineas in. Indeed. And you know where he is? Excelsior. Oh, and there we are. I've removed the lock on your ship in a show of my gratitude. Oh. An apprehension of this caliber will be tremendous for my career. I'll send you straight away to my superiors in Byzantium, only... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, let me guess, there's a catch. Just a teensy one, the teensiest. Nothing to uh, lie awake worrying about for nights on end or anything. <laughs> the thing is, I needed money. A lot of money, quickly, for reasons. Ah, oh, so 
far so dearly expected what happened. I might have pawned my official board seal to Gladys, the black market fence here on the Groundbreaker. I can't authorize the paperwork you'll need to turn Phineas in without it. Stray too much from the uh, straight and narrow, and one may just find himself assigned pastoral duty in a maximum security penitentiary. To give away something so important to you, there must have been some curious reasons. I'll thank you not to question my motives, young miss. It was a mistake, and I'd like to put it behind me. It's only temporary, of course. I'd never leave something so important in the hands of someone of such a dubious moral character. I was going to buy it back once I raised the capital. Ah. So you'll need to get my seal back from her if you want to hand Phineas over to the board. Of course. I was putting on winter socks in the background. I don't know if that was something you could hear. Ah. So before I can do the board a favor and turn over Valis, I need to do you a favor first. That's the long and short of it, yes. Fine. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm certain Gladys can be made... Well, can probably be made to see reason. <laughs> I'll be waiting eagerly oh. for your return. Now, is there any way in which I might assist you? Oh, no. Please don't let the Medias sin. sacrifices must be made to stay aligned with the plan. Unfortunate. Yeah. But necessary. Have you seen Learn. this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorists. Yep, just did turn him in. Don't you worry. Okay, sublight storage. Who's that? Unimportant. You? Unimportant. I shouldn't go in here. Starlight. Oh, they are kind of. Their quests annoy the board. Oh, neat. They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. Now this should prove interesting to say the least. Yep, yeah, let's go in. No music? No elevator music? Pleh. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Yep, yeah, that's me. Captain School Party. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Nice face. Love your scars. Lily. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Ah, uh, now I'm school pool captain of the unreliable. Charmed. It's nice to see the unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Mm. I didn't kill him. <laughs> I didn't ask. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? Can I get that first? Oh, what's so special about Stellar Bay? First, an embargo that's been active ever since the board pulled its forces off world. Few regulations, plenty of freedom. And second, all the goodies that no one had time to pack. I don't have a nav key yet. I like that initiative. But ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. Yeah. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. Ah, oh, I'll take it sublight isn't strictly a salvage operation. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors where I can let my hair down. Mm, show me your hair. No, they can't be. Yeah, I don't know. What kinds of other sectors does Sublight pursue? Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, legal formalities. 
<sighs> Wink not. Good boy. No, you'd understand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're very honest about subplots, criminal side. Hey, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. How organized is this business? Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets. Grids in general. I like to think of myself as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon, but I'll settle for being the most organized one. Oh, uh, okay. Ask. I have nothing to hide. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. And I have nothing to show. Okay. There's nothing out here. Ah, oh, she's paranoid, just like me. Right, team, who are? Don't stand so close, man. Damn, that pink. Looks good on you. Priest should wear that. Oh. How long am I into it? That's gonna be one more hour. Where am I? Yeah. 21 minutes. That's good. Okay, the medical bay is already trouble. I might have to kill my way through there. Oh, I definitely went in the wrong way. And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Remember Auntie Cleo? Because she remembers you. You were Good sick. law, the heat in here is so unbearable, when I can hardly home, even concentrate. Junlei better hurry up with those damn repairs already. Andy Cleo, that's who. Okay. Oh, burn, that's all stealing. Must be housed on a sub-level. Okay. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Ah, oh, ghoul pool. I like saying my name. Last place you got here, Chief. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I already started a fight. Ah, oh, do whatever I can help you keep the pace. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Meh. Oh. No. Now that my ship is out of impound, I can safely say I'm headed for Monarch. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Ah. Oh, Bhagavati, you wanted to talk to Chunlai. Go ahead. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Oh, thanks, Trilla. I had some other questions for you. Not a problem, Captain. Ask away. She didn't do a nice job, that would be a lie. It's a kind of war video. It's going on. 
Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Oh, want them to fix them. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Is there no room for compromise? None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Sounds hot. You need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back base. Oh, the back base. Am I supposed to know where that is? Oh, but there's a catch, right? The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. I'm pretty sure that's what a... Ah, cop killed. What a guy that we need to hunt for our head money. Ah, uh, you can't get these parts anywhere else. You must not have been here long. In Halcyon, new parts come by way of interstellar freighters from Earth, and the board monopolizes that kind of trade. That means I'd have to negotiate with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. The negotiations sound like a bureaucratic coup. Damn right. And while I'm captain of the Groundbreaker, it falls to me to preserve this ship's independence. Uh, <laughs> could we try to talk this out with whoever's down there? Those idiots are immune to reason. And they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. Uh, anyone else that you sound down there? I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. <laughs> What's well, a protective? Mardits are descended from the original Marine Detachment that crossed the void with Groundbreaker. I don't put their lives on the line if I can avoid it. Ah, oh, get you those parts. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Oh damn, level up. Hello? I won't get to those parts yet though. Where the hell have you been, Private? You've missed three shifts without notice. I was fixing that toilet you sent me to repair. The one above the Lost Hope? That was days ago. The fucking door! It locked behind me. And it wasn't until this freighter captain found me that I... You're lucky the chief would have my ass if I spaced you. Now get back to work, Private. Right away, sir. Yeah, he smokes immediately. Suppose it's time to reevaluate my career goals. And your life choices, man. Watch out, something doesn't explode in your face. I'm not making that joke. Maybe in two minutes when nobody remembers what I mean with that joke. Um, stuff. God, I need sleep too. Do I get a perk point? No. And water. But heat is killing me. Okay. That ain't filling me up. That's better. Okay. Yeah, I need sleep on now. Still betting on the toss ball series? I know you were trying to stop. BNP, oh. I can't believe it's not for. Waste disposal. Is there a small quest I can do here still? Ah, board seal. Part radiators too dangerous. Ah, uh, search half on stamina for clues. Too dangerous. What? Half one acquire science weapon ground bigger. Distress signal on your ship, solution. That's too dangerous. Captain McCree, too dangerous. Hmm.
What seems to be the problem? Your medical assistant shot at me. Just a doll. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. Oh, the records say have you actually spoken to her self, to her yourself? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Okay. Take care. Yeah. I'm gonna have to kill everybody inside. And uh, no, there's a way in there, but not yet. Not yet. Purple berry crunch. I'm not getting into any fights so far. I need to sleep. Macreed, that's the guy. That's down there below. Okay, I need to level up. Get the hell out of my way. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why, man? I haven't even talked to you yet. Uh, let's just make a big circle around him. Guess not. <laughs> oh. Oh, that got me by surprise. <laughs> oh. oh, that must have been awkward as all hell for him. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh, sleeping, sleeping, yeah, right, sleeping. Oh, damn, look at that. Good shot. Crook. Oh. 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 Damn, I'm gonna die because of first. Um, I'm gonna go to the moon first. There are two in your slab. Skula. Is that nothing? Monarch, the dangerous landing pod. I'm probably gonna do that too. A dangerous landing pod in the future. Destination reached. Scylla. Scylla. Illa. Illa. Continue. Oops. There we go. Well, first I'm gonna loot and farm. And there's a lot of danger here. That can kill me. But I'll feel comfortable right now. Oh, damn. This is real space, isn't it? Empty and silent. I never thought I'd see the like. I I'd look up at night, but... Can't walk five meters without stubbing your toe on a loose rock here. First we gotta turn the hat off. And then test some screenshots. Or oh, some reshades. Oh yeah. Position one, where are we? Storm. Duh. It's a dead space one. Got my nose. Vibrance. Damn. Damn. Are we vibing? Damn. Vibrance. That's ultra colorful. Simple beauty. That's for the game. That's a little bit pale in case comparison. Whatever figures. That was uh, also not that bad looking, I would say. That was has a lot of cool whites. Very shiny looking. Star Wars reshade. Outer Realms is made for this game. That's pretty similar with it, I would say. It's hard on the purple. Ah, that's the purple. Oh, God. That's... That's... No, that's not a Dead Space one. That's the Elden Ring one, I believe. I've downloaded an Elden Ring reshade too. Oh, God. Stalker Misery. Let's see. No. 
Let's try decay. Okay. Oh, the here looks good here. Damn. Damn, I like that. Holy hell. Huh, I guess I will play this part with decay on. Okay, what else do we have here? 3D. Duh, too much. Already too much. Let's get rid of that. We've got here. Oh, that looks also pretty good. Actually, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, let's try the decay one more time. It's a close call between this one and the decay one. Okay. They, okay, yep, it's the decay one. Oh. Let's get down here. There are a lot of primates on this planet. So I actually need... No, come on, man. Oh, free loot. That's cigarettes. God damn it, okay. Can't do it. Can't. I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, that's cool as so, hell. Uh, one more screenshot, and then this part is over. I'm gonna get the face cam out for the next part. Guess this wasn't an ultra long part then. Yo, peace out.